students here we are going to discuss about lifi and vlc lifi stands for light fidelity and vlc means visible light communication first of all let us see lifi and in this technology you know that it is a very new technology and it is uh, similar to the wi-fi technology but here we are using light or visible light to transmit the data over the internet see the, this technology is very new and it is proposed by the german physicist harald haas in 2011 and lifi provides a transmission of the data through illumination by sending data through an led light bulb that varies in intensity faster than the human eye can follow that means here we require in order to transmit the data we require an led light source with the help of that source we are transmitting data so LIFI is a wireless optical networking technology that uses light emitting diodes for data transmission. The term LIFI refers to the visible light communication that is VLC technology. That means it uses a as medium to deliver high speed communication in a manner similar to Wi-Fi. And LIFI comparing to Wi-Fi it has better bandwidth and its efficiency is more and availability and security is more comparing to the Wi-Fi technology and also the speed provided by the Li-Fi is in the range of gigabits per second it is higher hundreds of times higher than that of the speed provided by the Wi-Fi technology and it is first invented by the professor Harald Haas and he is the chair of the mobile communications at the University of Edinburgh and he recognized as the founder of the LIFI and he gave a demonstration of the LIFI prototype at the TED Global Conference in Edinburgh on 12th July 2011 actually he demonstrated it by using a table lamp and that lamp uses an LED bulb and he transmitted a video of blooming flower that will be projected onto a screen and he and during his talk he uh, blocked the path of the light uh, during that time uh, uh, it is seen that the uh, video is not sh uh, seen on the uh, seen on the screen so uh, that is uh, how he demonstrated uh, his uh, invention that is uh, he tried to transmit that video carrying through the light the life can be regarded as a light based, based Wi-Fi and instead of radio waves, this Li-Fi technology uses uh, light to transmit the data. In the case of Wi-Fi technology, actually what we are doing is we are transmitting the data over the radio waves by modulating it with the high frequency radio waves. And here we are using the light waves and we will be modulating the um, light waves. So that is the difference between this Li-Fi li and Wi-Fi. And uh, here the speed of the light is very high comparing to the radio waves. So um, it provides better data rates comparing to Wi-Fi technology. But the major um, difficulty or major drawback is that whenever the light path is um, blocked, you will not get any signal. So um, uh, here we can um, say Li-Fi can be considered better than Wi-Fi because there are some limitations in the Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi uses 2.4 to 5 GHz radio frequencies to deliver wireless internet access and its bandwidth is limited to 50 to 100 megabits um, per second um, and uh, in the case of uh, Li-Fi uh, actually its capacity and efficiency is uh, very high comparing to that of the Wi-Fi technology. Here the list of advantages of the Li-Fi technology and here when we are uh, going uh, to compare the uh, light on of time, toxicity, free band etc. Here in the case of we are using LED lights um, and LEDs produce more light per watt than uh, with uh, the comparing to that of the incandescent bulb and here the LEDs used will have an on of time uh, which is uh, uh, on of time is very short that means it, it light up very quickly and uh, uh, free band considering to free band li-fi makes use of the free band that does not uh, need any uh, licensing and uh, high speeds it offers theoretically sp um, uh, speeds in the order of gigabits per second 
and Wi-Fi can be used safely in aircraft without affecting the airline signals. Unlike the Wi-Fi, see, um, once we are traveling through the air, air um, aeroplanes, uh, you are asked to switch off your mobile phones. That is because it will um, affect uh, the aircraft communication because uh, when you are using mobile phones, Mm, that will interfere with the aircraft signals that is why mm, they are asking to switch off uh, your mobile phones but in the case of light signal uh, transmission there is no such difficulty mm, it will not interfere with the radio frequency because we are using light instead of uh, other radio signals and in the healthcare field also we can use this Li-Fi technology it can be in integrated Li-Fi technology can be integrated into medical devices and in hospitals Mm, uh, and also it can be used for uh, underwater traffic control systems, street lamps, spectrum relief etc. We can use this Li-Fi technology. And uh, let, uh, let us see the spectrum of this Li-Fi and uh, uh, the Wi-Fi spectrum. You can see here that uh, uh, Wi-Fi uses uh, radio spectrum and its frequencies of the order of 4 into 10, uh, 4 into 10 raised to 10. Mm, hertz and but the visible light life I uses visible light communication and uh, its frequencies of the order of 4 into 10 raised to 14 to 8 into 10 raised to 14 mm, so the difference between the frequencies of Wi-Fi and Li-Fi is 10,000 Hertz that is Li-Fi is 10,000 times more faster than the Wi-Fi and let us compare this Li-Fi and Wi-Fi and uh, comparing to um, uh, Wi-Fi uh, the speed is higher in the case of Li-Fi technology and Wi-Fi also provides high speed but the uh, Li-Fi technique provides higher speed um, than that of the Wi-Fi technology and spectrum is 10,000 10, times broader uh, spectrum for um, Li-Fi comparing to Wi-Fi and the security provider is high security in the case of Li-Fi due to um, due to non-penetration of the light through walls of sea in the case of Li-Fi technology uh, whenever um, there is a wall uh, in the path of the light um, then that signal transmission is blocked um, but in the case of uh, Wi-Fi there is no such issues so um, comparing to Wi-Fi it provides high security and the reliability in the, it provides medium reliability and bandwidth uh, in the case of Li-Fi is broad um, broad spectrum of bandwidth it provides us um, but in the case of Wi-Fi it provides narrow bandwidth um, and the transmit and receiver power is high in the case of Li-Fi uh, and in um, Wi-Fi it is medium and also device to device connectivity um, uh, needed is higher in the case of Li-Fi and, uh, uh, and as well as in the case of Wi-Fi. So, um, but when we are implementing the Li-Fi technology, obstacle interference is higher in the case of Li-Fi because if we are um, uh, going for free space communication by using light uh, and if we tra uh, try to transmit the um, information through the light, uh, then the obstacles due to trees and other devices will be higher and walls can also obstruct uh, the um, uh, transmission or the channel transmission between the transmitter and receiver in the case of Li-Fi. Uh, li but in the case of Wi-Fi, uh, not such issues are not there. Such issues are not there in the case of Wi-Fi. And uh, let us see how uh, the this Li-Fi works. Basically, it needs, you know that uh, in the case of Li-Fi uh, li transmission, we need a LED source. And here is the structure um, of working of the uh, Li-Fi. And here you can see that it needs a um, light source. And also, uh, in order to detect the information, we need a photo detector. That is the main part. And also, um, there is at the server side, sending side, Basically, it consists of transmitter, channel and receiver. Channel is free space medium. Mm, and uh, at the transmitter side, there will be one server. Mm, and we can transmit mm, uh, the information mm, through the light signals. So, we need an LED signal. And so, uh, based on the on and off procedure, we can transmit the light mm, mm, that is shown here. And at the detector or receiver side, we need a photo detector in order to detect the light. And here we are using LED detectors and LED sources. And after detecting the light, it will be given to the at the receiver side, it will be given to the, the server for further processing. The receiver may contain, or transmitter or receiver module may contain encryption schemes, decryption schemes, and also modulation techniques like that. So this is the basic block diagram. Let us see. Light emitting diodes can be switched on and off faster than the human eye can detect it since the operating speed of the LEDs is less than 1 microsecond. So in this case we are transmitting the data uh, by modulating the light uh, source 
uh, so we can use uh, different uh, modulation schemes uh, and uh, based on that uh, the light uh, light sources may be on or off uh, based on the um, binary information uh, that we are transmitting and uh, we also use uh, th that means this method of using rapid sometimes we may be using light pulses and this method of using rapid pulses of light to transmit information wirelessly is technically referred to as visible light communication or VL vlc that means lifi um, is using the vlc communication and the vlc um, uses visible light between the range 400 terahertz and 800 terahertz range Mm, and it, 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 this visible light act as a carrier for the data transmission mm, and also it is used um, as an illumination purposes and uh, by using the visible light uh, communication and uh, we, uh, we, we can modulate uh, the carrier or visible light and uh, this modulation techniques are different there are different modulation techniques so VLC refers to any use of the visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum to transmit information. A VLC group is certified by the IEEE 802.15 standard with the final standard being approved in 2011. The standard of VLC specifies VLC consisting of mobile to mobile, fixed to mobile and infrastructure to mobile communications. The main purpose of the VLC is to focus on medium range communications for intelligent traffic systems at low speed and on short range mobile to mobile and fixed to mobile communication high at high data speeds to exchange data and here the data rates are supported from 100 kilobits per second to 100 megabits per second and the protocol that is Li-Fi communication is uh, modeled um, after protocols established by the IEEE 802 work group and it, it defines uh, different layers such as physical layer and media access control layers uh, for VLC and Li-Fi. Here we are not interested in all those details. And uh, let us see uh, the different modulation techniques that is used in the case of um, uh, uh, VLC that is uh, visible light communication uh, we can use the different modulation schemes in order to modulate the light um, uh, wave carrier signals uh, by using the data signals uh, and this modulation schemes are see here variable pulse position modulation we can use uh, let us see variable pulse position mo uh, modulation and P that means that is represented VPPM that is variable pulse position modulation in the case of pulse position modulation that encodes the data using the position of the pulse within the set time period so the information will be carried in the position of the pulse the, that we have studied in the um, case of modulation techniques in the previous semesters and also we can use uh, other type of modulation schemes such as color shift key modulations and uh, this is um, used if the illumination system uses RGB type LEDs that means if we are using colored LEDs in that cases we are using the modulation such as a color shift key modulation so um, it is obtained by combining different colors of light and uh, other types of modulations are frequency shift keying um, that means here the um, frequency of the carrier signals will be varied according to the um, data signals and also there is a newer technology that is OFDM based that is SIM OFDM that is subcarrier index modulation OFDM actually this is a new approach that is uh, it, um, uh, to transmission in which the additional dimension is added to um, a conventional two dimensional amplitude or phase modulation technique such as here it is using quadrature amplitude modulation and also using amplitude shift key modulations so these are the modulation techniques that we are using in the case of VLC um, technique and here the main thing is that we have to use powerful LEDs as the light sources so we know the working principle of the LED um, and the LEDs emit light when the energy levels changes in the semiconductor diode and this change in the energy generates photons and uh, some of which are emitted as light and the wavelength of the emitted light depends upon the difference in the energy levels of the type of the semiconductor material used in the form of LED chip. And here is a diagram of an LED. And let us see the implementation side of the 
Lifer technology and here main components of the systems um, are the high brightness LED which act as the communication source and also we need a silicon photodiode that uh, uh, act as a receiver uh, section that means whenever we are transmitting the light it should be detect received at the receiver by using the photodiode mm. and data from the sender is converted into intermediate data representation that is byte format and then converted into light signals which are emitted by the transmitters um, transmitter and the light signal is received by the photodiode at the receiver side Mm, and in the receiver side the reverse process uh, takes place uh, which is taken place in the transmitter side that means if we are using mm, or uh, any encoding techniques at the mm, uh, transmitter side we have to decode it at the receiver side and if we are using modulation technique we have to modulate the signal and if we are using any encryption technique we have to uh, decrypt that message signal okay. And uh, in the case of implementation side, when we are uh, talking about Im implementation and uh, here uh, the transmitter and receiver section uh, needs uh, computers uh, in order to process the data and at the source computer data reading module will be there and a data conversion module will be there and a transmitter module will be also be there and at the destination side uh, computer uh, there, there should be a receiver module, data interpretation module and a data display section should be there. So these all are the requirements for the Li-Fi technology and here is um, the diagram which is showing this uh, Li-Fi technology um, and it uh, it shows how it works and there it, it is showing that there is a high power LED bulb is there um, and the light receiver is also shown and we can utilize the existing technology um, to transmit the data over this visible light communication technology or Li-Fi technology. And also we can utilize this Li-Fi technology in, uh, for communication um, at the underwater um, level. And also we can utilize it in the um, aircraft media. Uh, also, above all this, there is some limitations of this Li-Fi technology. Let us see that uh, limitations. The main limitation is that whenever the path between the source and receiver is obstructed then the communication part will be lost that is the main limitation but in the case of Wi-Fi there is no such issues so in such cases we have to use Wi-Fi for uh, for continuous uh, data reception so that is the main disadvantage in the case of Li-Fi technology and uh, here the uh, when we are first implementing this uh, technology it will be um, uh, uh, very costlier that means high installation cost of the systems can be complemented by large scale implementations of VLC through adopting this technology that will reduce further operating cost like electricity charges maintenance charges etc and uh, in this case we need uh, Wi-Fi for the um, continuous communication because um, there is a chances of obstructions of the uh, communication uh, due to um, uh, trees, walls and obstacles like that. Uh, so um, this is all about this Li-Fi technology. Um, uh, that's all about this topic. Thank you.